just another normal day you are watching TV and then an important announcement pop up on the TV that Beware! At any time nuclear bomb can hit your city. Yo! First of all stop screaming and panicking. Hi my name is Hash and there is a chance you can survive just follow my instruction. After the fiery blast itself, survivors will have to overcome the risk of radiation sickness, starvation and collapsing buildings if they want to stand a chance of living through the attack. Thankfully, there are measures we can all take to protect ourselves from a nuclear blast, as proven by this advice from the US government. We will mainly divide our survivor plan on three parts. First how to prepare for an attack. Second, surviving the immediate blast. Third, what to do next. The best way to boost your chances of surviving a nuclear attack is to be prepared for one. That doesn't mean you need to build a military grade bunker to survive, but you should designate a safe part of your house to use as a makeshift panic room. In here, keep a pack truck sack containing bottled water, tinned food, batteries, a torch, a cheap mobile, and basic medical supplies. Having a so-called bug-out bag ready for each member of your family will save precious time in an evacuation, and ensure you have the supplies to survive on your own for a few days at least. A 2010 United States government paper called Planning Guidance for Response to a Nuclear Detonation, claims that people at ground zero, where the nuke detonates, have no chance of survival. However, if you're a few miles away from the impact point then you have a fighting chance, especially if you have a pre-packed bug out bag to take with you. The first you'd probably know about a nuclear strike would be a bright flash in the distance, and the force of the incoming explosion would reach you less than 15 seconds later. Keep your mouth open to prevent your eardrums from bursting and move well away from anything flammable, whilst looking for the closest possible shelter. Alternatively, look for a pre-built bomb shelter, although there are believed to be very few scattered around Britain. After the initial blast, you have 10 to 15 minutes to Escape the incoming radiation, which will largely be blown by the prevailing wind. If you can't escape the fallout zone, then you need to take shelter underground or in a bunker, and stay there for at least 9 days, being sure to ration food so supplies don't run out. The world will be a whole new place after the blast, and you'll need all your survival instincts to survive. After an all-out war, Look for libraries to learn how to rebuild society and teach yourself the skills you need to prosper post apocalypse. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe the channel.